All right, y'all, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're in the building. I'll roll that intro, my boy. Yo, what's going on, boys and girls? And today I have five tips on how to make your road to glory better. All right, but first, I want y'all to leave a like, subscribe, and comment on the video because it definitely helps your boy grow that's all i'm gonna say it helps your boy grow all right because i know a lot of y'all have been having trouble trying to do the little road to glory thing but first the first thing you gotta do though is to do this glitch because it makes your road to glory a lot easier you know what i'm saying a lot easier now now tip number one how to always stay on the field bro so because i know some of y'all be struggling with that you know what i'm saying now all you got to do is go to the rgt central or the gameplay sliders all right and then go all the way down all the way down you can change any of these but go all the way down to fatigue turn this all the way down to zero so you can stay in the game so you don't get tired nothing so you can always stay in the game at all times turn it all the way to zero like you can put it on like you know maybe five or six whatever because keep it all the way to zero just to make sure all right and then you can take the wear and tear off if you want to but you don't have to but this is the best way to stay in the game like like i said go to rgt central and then go all the way down to fatigue put all the way down all right or you can always go all quit out of here okay go to main menu all right Go to the menu, go to auto subs, all right? Whatever position you are or whatever, but go to that. Since mine would be like a running back or whatever it is, you go all the way down, move it all the way down, auto sub out, put it to zero. So it could be there. And then, or if you have a receiver, you could put all that. Now, this is tip number two, okay? Tip number two. It's teams that have limitless coaching abilities. So what that is, is you know how when you make your player and it has the caps on them, like how when you make a improviser or it might have a cap on his um, his field general, or when you make a power back, you might have a cap on his elusiveness or you make elusive back, it might have a cap on his power back. So if you, there's certain teams in the game that if you go to that team, I don't know, maybe like your year one, uh, year two, it might let you, it lets you it doesn't it does it randomly so you can't pick and it opens up the cap for you so and i know it takes a long process but if you want to you can go to dynasty and look at the coaches that have that ability but i know right off the bat i, I did some research i did some them for you and like, i wrote it down it's, it's like michigan colorado state cincinnati uh coastal carolina uab ucla uh southern miz penn state you know what I'm saying? And then Bull State, George South, and West Tech, and Utah, uh, Utah State. I know those teams so far are, they, they let you, if you go to them, they give you a whole bunch of like, um, um, where it was like, maybe like year one, year two, they help you where your caps are gone. So like you can upgrade your player to a true 99, where if you wanna have a power back and you wanna update your elusiveness, it will help. All those teams have coaches that have limitless abilities and stuff like that. Obviously, it's random, so you never know which one you're going to get or which cap is going to do it. It's random. So, you know, but at least, you know, some of these teams help you with those caps. You know what I'm saying? That definitely helps. Now, tip number three, best playbooks in the game. All right. Best playbooks in the game. You go to team settings. OK obviously for that's for quarterbacks and receivers because there's, there's sometimes if you're a receiver and you go to a team that's run heavy you're not getting the passes bro you're not getting no passes or if you're a quarterback you go to a team that's 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 um run heavy the coach is gonna keep sending you like <laughs> they're, they're just gonna make you make make the make the running back run 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 and you're never gonna pass the ball bro you're never gonna pass the ball you're never gonna pass the ball so the the best playbooks on here would be the air raid you know okc state michigan oregon uh unlv and th those are the best playbooks for receivers 
and quarterbacks. Like obviously as a receiver, you want to get more of the pass plays to get thrown your way. And as you see as a quarterback, if you want to throw the ball more, you know what I'm saying? But like, if you also want to be one of those scrambling quarterbacks, make sure you go to Alabama's uh, playbook. You know, with Jalen Monroe, he has a lot of like set plays for him that lets him run around a lot. So if you want to do that, you could do that as well. You know, that those work really well those playbooks if you're a receiver and a quarterback and now obviously you know we got to get y'all for the love for the for the running backs too you feel me now for running backs you need to go to army uh the navy playbook kansas oregon ucf and michigan now, especially michigan you know how they got that donovan edward over there boy they be running now those are the fucking playbooks that you need to use if you want to be a run heavy you know what i'm saying running back because you're gonna get all the runs you shoot if especially if you use the the glitch I told you about, or not even the glitch, but put your sub out low, you're gonna get all the runs for that whole that whole game. Every every damn near every play. Now you know we can't forget about defense. Now if you wanna use the best playbook for defense, you go to three three five tight. It has the best deep. It has the best coverage. It has the best blitzes for the middle linebacker and the cornerback position. It has all the four formations in that playbook that will help you get more picks, more more sacks. Use that playbook, bro. It has literally everything in there that you need. Tip number four, you know, it's for you to change the cam angle. Your camera angle, all you have to do is press, you know, down on the D-pad to zoom out and press up on the D-pad to zoom in. You see that? I prefer the zoom in. It just looks way better. You know what I'm saying? It looks better to me, especially when I'm on my running back build. It just looks better. But for you to change that, you literally, you know what I'm saying? For, for the D-pad right here, I don't know if y'all can see it, the D-pad. This is the D-pad right here. What you have to do, hold on. I'll show y'all on the next play. See, like with this play. What you have to do, you see how we're zoomed in right now? Okay, so you go on the D-pad, out, out. You gotta press down on it. You wanna zoom in, press up, up. Now, that's how you zoom in, back and forth, back and forth, so you can pick the play that's better for you. Like I said, for me, on my running back, I like running it as a zoom in, but for the receiver one, I like doing it on the zoom out because I can see more of the field, so that definitely helps you. And also, another thing, you know how you get, I have, at least for me, I have 20 play changes, but for some of y'all that don't have that many, I tell y'all, don't use that as much at the beginning of the game. Try to use it later on in the game, because later on in the game, the coaches a lot of times do a lot of dumb decisions, bro. A lot of dumb play calls, and then you might have to you know, change the play because it doesn't work, or it doesn't seem like it's gonna work. So I would advise you guys, if you don't have a lot of play changes, like for me, with this build that I have, I have a lot of play changes. So I'm allowed to you know, change them more often than not. You know what I'm saying? So that's tip number four. Tip number five, final tip for y'all. Now, if y'all cheese balls, y'all cheese balls want to win, and if y'all going against a team that's really hard and you can't beat them, and you want to cheese, you know what I'm saying? You want to cheese, all right? So what you do, shoot, have one of your friends come through. Have one of your friends come through. Oh, I got another controller, all right? Turn the controller on, whatever. Sign in to somebody. See, now you can go to the other side, the other side, and you can play against each other. You know what I'm saying? They can play on the other team. Now, you can't play on the same team, but you can play on the other side of them. So if you want your, your friend to just bullshit for you and let you get a dub, you know what I'm saying? If you can't beat a team, you can do that. Or obviously, if you want to play competitively, you know, things like that, then you can do that as well. You know what I'm saying? Like, but, but that definitely works. That's tip number five for y'all. It's kind of like a offline co-op type thing for in, in your road to glory if you want to do that or whatever but those will be the five tips that i have for y'all boys i think i might have some other ones but these right now are the five tips i have for y'all so if y'all like this video man don't forget to subscribe to the channel leave a like on the comment section and um yeah boys we are close we are close we're like 420 some away to hit 1k i know y'all can do it for me man so appreciate y'all appreciate y'all boys if you like this video make sure to hit that like button for me